Assalamu alaikum. Hello, this is Amina, a young woman who comes from one of the many islands of the Emirates, commonly known as the Maldives. A chain of 26 atolls comprising of 1,190 islands located southwest of Sri Lanka and India in the Indian Ocean. A total population of approximately 350,000 people. The culture of Maldives is strictly based on the island life which could be described as remote villages. Amina lived in a traditional Maldivian house built with white limestone walls, flat roofings and sand floors. At dawn, a typical day of a Maldivian island begins. Fisherman like Ali head out towards the jetty to join with his crewmates to begin preparation for departure. Once everything is set, they sail towards the deep ocean and pool of Puna gather. begin their daily chores after the men depart. Here, Aisha is at a well, collecting water in the tanks, Maldives called Bahia. Maldives have been depending on well water until very recently. While the adults are busy with their chores, kids go out to play, enjoy and meet their friends. Few hours, the men are able to reach their fishing spots where they catch varieties of tuna using coal and lime. Tuna is a staple ingredient in the Maldivian cuisine, and fishing is the main source of income for people living in the island. Looking at the other sources of income. Women make items from coconut leaflets, such as broom, coconut thatching used for roasting, and meat coconut stones made oil. Another important labor skill in Maldives is the making of don, a sailboat or fishing boat which is built using coconut palm timber. After a busy day, women hang out with their friends, relaxing on a type of hammock called Jolipa, smoking Buddha Buddha, a local variant of Puka. Throughout the island, brave men of Maldives climb up the tall coconut palm trees without any safety to provide the island fresh king coconut and rupura known as palm wine nectar for tea. After a long day under the hot blazing sun, men safely reach home with surplus amount of tuna for their household and to sell. The tuna is then handed over to the woman to fillet and cook tuna soup called garbi. The long day is concluded at the dinner table to catch up on their activities during the day.